Welcome back to the baby. Welcome back to the basement Welcome yard. Welcome back to the basement yard. Uh, we're very excited to have you here today. Uh, it's episode. <laughs> what I don't know. I don't. What know. number is it? Two, two some. No, two we're, we're in threes or fours. No, we're not. Are we? We're in th- at least three. Oh yeah, I'm bugging. Where are you? All over the place. We have a lot of really good stuff to talk about. Hopefully, you stick around, hang out with us, and uh, you know, get some, get some, get some laughs today. Oh wow, really, really good <laughs> intro, Frank. <laughs> I can't. I get a little like when you give me too much, I can't take it all. You know what I'm saying? So like, I kind of that sounded <laughs> that wildly sounded. homosexual, dude. That sounded insanely. That, that is sounded, insane. That sounded too much. All right, all right. My By bad. the way, you threw your hat over there, and I swear to God. For some reason, like my contact was like a little blurry for a second, and I thought it was a helmet. <laughs> how big is your fucking head? It's it's a it's a hat, brother. Take it easy. All right? I know, but like, how big? Take is it you? the fuck easy. What size hat? What size hat? Seven three eight, I think. It's not that big. I don't know about that. I honestly don't know off the top of my head. Top of my head. Oh, very good. Top of my head. Frank's in rare form right now. Listen, you know, I'm I'm living it up, live, large, in public, doing it up, hanging out with. I can't rap today. I, I know. I, I know. can't rap today. Frank's just singing and rapping. <laughs> it's like your whole life is a musical. I watched, speaking of musicals, I just uh, I watched Wonka with uh, our boy oh Timothy Chalamet. Tim O'Tay. Oh, he's our boy now? First of all, I'm going to tell you something right now. After watching that fucking movie, I fuck with Timmy. Really? Yeah, I like him, bro. He's kind of too, he's too sharp. He like, is very, he's a sharp he looks looking like, man. He looks like you hang out with him. If he hits you with your elbow, like you're going to get a gash. Yeah, you know you're going to. I'm <laughs> Like it is true. But if you kiss him at the wrong angle, it'll sl- it'll slit your throat. There's there is dangers, there is risks, of, of course. But I do think that he he's a really cool guy, and I like his singing voice a lot. Are we? It's here. You said he's our boy. Like we're like. He said, "I'm just talking here. I, I, I've never met him. I would like to meet him. Maybe give him a dap. Go to a Knicks game. Drink a beer. Or something. Is that what he does? He's, he's like New York. Too, he's like, but he's like too cool now. First of all, no. Timo Timote. Timote. I don't like that. I also like that he's uh. Fluent in French. That's awesome. Kind of, yeah. I was going to say it sucks, but it's honestly more No, jeal- it's fire. More jealousy. He's like, Timothée Chalamet. I yeah. know, uh, you know, be, be a guy. Be a New Yorker, you know? Like, yo, I'm Tim, Timmy C's. Tim Cham. I'm Tim Cham. <laughs> Tim Cham is here. Yeah. I You watched it? I liked it. I thought that he has oh. a decent singing voice, too. I like, I it's good. Li- I didn't like it's it. It's something soothing about it, I too. didn't like it. First of all, why are the Oompa Loompas so small, dude? Yeah. I didn't like they that. They weren't that small they in the They weren't that small one. in the movie. In the movie, they were just... A little bigger. Uh, well, they I were... also heard it was one dude. It was one fucking guy, and they just, like, recreated him all the time. I didn't think it was, like, a whole band of little well, people. no, no, no. I think in the original, like, you know... Uh, Gene the, Wilder. Gene Wilder, it was several little people actors. I Again, don't, I don't know what to say. I think... I think... <laughs> yeah. I... And then... When they had done the remake or whatever it was with Johnny Depp, your uh, other boy, your other boy, what they? I, I mean, I like uh, Johnny Depp. I'm I don't not know where are to? we on Johnny Depp. Are we cool with him still? He we got cool reinstated him? back in the movies. He's he's back in. Yeah, she crapped on his bed, and they were like, "Yeah, get to take the movie back." That's All right. crazy. I, I didn't know. Yeah. Um, but that was one actor that they had filmed like hundreds of different. So times then that's the one and redid it, and then now it's just Hugh Grant. Yeah, like. Is this it? all right? I got a question here. Serious question. Mm-hmm. Serious, serious, serious question. Mm-hmm. I am seeking the advice of the little people community. Okay. Are they not like? Do they not want the like roles of like little people, or do they want roles of little people? That's a fair question because, because I I legitimately don't know. Like, if they're like, "Yo, we're casting Oompa Loompas," are little people like, "Yes, this is what we need to do," or are they just like, "No, that's I don't like that because it's it's kind of like a typecast." Oh thing. no, no, <laughs> I don't think it's like that. But I do think that well, Hollywood's he, evil, Joey. You know, big Hollywood, big evil. I know, but I don't think that Hugh Grant should be taking jobs away from little people. Yeah, and of of all people, Hugh Grant isn't he like six two? Like, is it's he, a big, he's it's a, a big, big fucker. It's a big British boy. Yeah, and he's up there. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So is it? Like, well, how do they feel about that? I, I don't know, I don't and know. I don't want to assume I know here. Right, but you're doing that, and I feel <laughs> kinda, like kinda, 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 kinda. you're just saying that you don't want to. Um, but I will say that I did like the movie. I thought it was good. I, didn't I like thought it. Timmy did a good job, and then I think he could sing, too. I didn't like it. I will say, pure imagination. I don't know what it is about that song. Come with me, and you'll be... In a world of pure imagination. 
Station. I don't know the rest of it. Kind of. Kind of crushed that. that. We kind of did. When you hear the bing, bong, bong. I love that Real shit, shit, dude. <laughs> yeah? I love it. But like, it's, it's, that, that song for some reason tugs at my heartstrings. Bro, I want to cry when I hear I that I want to cry that song because it's like, God damn, do I want to live in a world of pure imagination so bad, dude. If you want to view paradise, simply look around and view it. That's good advice. That's good advice. But, like, it's also kind of, like, simple. It's like, oh, you want this? It's there. Just yeah. look for it, Just look for it. That's what I'm saying, but that's how simple but, uh, it is. I, didn't, I, I wasn't a big fan of it. And I'll tell you what. I liked it. The, the Gene Wilder was kind of a freak, dude. Oh, he was a little weird. He was kind of funny too, bro. He was just all over the place. This guy, like you knew, like he, like he had like three Oompa Loompas in the back that he was just fucking dogging bop, out. Bop, yeah, yeah, you yeah. Know? He was dogging him out. But like, I didn't get that with with Timmy's, like Timmy Shells. Yeah, yeah. I mean, that's not his fault. He's not writing the fucking movie. But 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 you know, there's yeah. a little bit of wiggle room. Like the realized character, I feel like we didn't get the realized Willy Wonka. I know it's a prequel, and it's like how he gets to be where he wants. And the whole thing with the mom, cute, whatever. But like. Yeah. Like, Gene Wilder was just kind of like a like a horny little bitch. He was the like whole world spinning, and we don't know where we're going. Yeah, and it's like this dude is pretty much jerking off in his own words right, right now. Right, right, right. You right, know, right. And I didn't get that from Timmy Shells. I, I mean, no, I mean, and he didn't write the movie again. I think that he, I think he did a good job, mm. and I did like it. And also, I really, I would like. Chocolate now. I kind of want chocolate now too. Because there's there's a scene where like he has. Do you remember the scene? Oh, you saw it obviously. Mm -hmm. um, where it's like you eat the chocolate and then you can fly and shit. Mm -hmm. I'm like, bro, I'm trying to get up in the air. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. Let me eat a chocolate. There's and some then chocolates start that if you eat them, you'll be you'll be flying high. Yeah, but you can only get them in Amsterdam. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> or Denver. Yeah. Oh. Or that. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, I, I watched it. I liked it. I thought it was good. I wasn't a big fan. Just I yo, will... Timmy, Timote, if you're watching this, bro, let's go have a beer in fucking Manhattan, dog. I'm just I know gonna, you're busy. I'm with just some gonna shit. say this. I'm just gonna say this. Although I wasn't a big fan of your movie, or uh, now that I think about it, I don't know if I've liked any of your movies. Really? I don't. I mean, call me by your name. I haven't seen it in its entirety. What I've seen, very good. <laughs> That's like a. I didn't a, watch Dune. But I watched Dune. Would, why do you like get like horny at me like that? What? You were like, I watched Dune. No, no, no. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you didn't do that did. at all. Yes, you did. No, I've seen Dune. I respect him as his, uh, you know, living his dream, doing I think his that art. He's, I think he's a great actor. This guy is arting it out there. Yeah, he's very artistic. If, I swear to God, if he hits you up and I don't get at least a fucking courtesy I invite, hope he tells you to go fuck yourself. You're dead to me. I hope he tells you to go fuck yourself. That's somehow cooler than having a beer with him. I <laughs> <laughs> Somehow, it'd be way cooler if Timothy Chalamet is just like, bro, fuck you. I'd be like, <laughs> be right, hilarious. you know what? Not only did I deserve that, I kind of like it. I would tell him, too. I'd be like, yo, just tell this dude to suck your dick. It'd be hilarious. No way, dude. And he'd probably do a good job. You'd believe him because you know why? He's a good actor. Oh, you yeah. you probably well, believe him. Yeah, well, he's probably actually, maybe he doesn't. Are they good liars? Like, if you're a great actor, are you like a great liar? Bro, did I ever tell you when I was in middle school? Oh, God, Yes. I love when stories come out about how fucking much of an idiot I was in middle school. <laughs> there was a part after I think like High School Musical 2 came out or something like that. I was like full into like, I want to be a fucking actor. Okay. And there was a point in time where like someone was like, why do you want to be an actor? And I was just like, actors are like the best at imagination. And like they are. The <laughs> and, and then I and they were like, what do you mean? And I was just like, actors are the best liars. And that You're a sick person. <laughs> You're mentally sick. But like, you, not that I want to be a liar, but like, you just said, no, 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 no. Someone said, "Why do you want to be an actor?" You're like, because they're good at lying. No, 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 no. But like, I, I just like use it to just be like, actors are so like the best liars because they're pretending all the time, and it's just like such a stupid fucking like. It is stupid. Such a stupid. But it's not not bare true. Bones, kind of. It's not not true though. Like if you're a great actor, then you could you could lie, put on a performance, go crazy. But you could also like fucking like pro poker players that won't make good actors. You know what I mean? They're not lying. They're just not moving their face. Yeah, bro. Do you ever see what was what was the big poker player that did like sports science and like beat the lie detector test? Naganu? No, what was his name? I have no idea. Negrino. Oh, uh, I know who you're talking you about. Know I'm talking but about I don't know his name. But like, it's definitely not Naganu because that guy's a UFC. Fighter. <laughs> I know Francis Naganu. I yeah. know him. But like, yeah, I remember at the time. Timothy Chalamet might tell me to, but I would, would know dope. if he's being honest. You know what I mean? It's true. He's also like 22. No, he's not. Bro, he's down <laughs> there. I didn't. He's down there. He's down there. I think he's like 25. Really? I don't know, bro. I hope he's not 22 because that's Timmy's, weird. Timmy's, look it up. Timmy Shells. Timmy Shell. 
But he's 28, you dumb fucking all right, idiot. All right, I lost the, I lost that 28. one. 28. All right. They also picked a horrible picture of him for he's his also, Wikipedia isn't he, da- isn't he dating um, Kylie Jenner? There you go. Yeah, he's probably sending her to space all the time. Crazy. Do you think? That's code word for sex. Oh, I got you. I got you. I got you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You think? What? He's, he like, I don't, I don't know you, Mr. Shalley. I'm, I'm ruining your chances here. Of having yeah, yeah. Any, you're not any, helping here. I'm trying, I'm here. trying to be nice to the guy, and you're over here fucking trying to like. You know when you can look at certain people and you just go like, God damn, they, they've got, they've got the motion of the ocean. You know what I'm saying? They're, I feel like he's so like thin that he might just have a fat, fat. Fat bunger. My, he might have like yeah. a full sausage. He's got like an everlasting gobstopper down there. <laughs> he's, he's just wonka barring it out. <laughs> Bro, by the way, I know we're getting off topic once again, but in the original Gene Wilder, when that fucking kid opens up the chocolate, I'm like, this looks so fucking oh good. God. The chocolate looks so fucking yes. good. Fuck the ticket. I'm trying to eat some of that fucking chocolate bar. Dude, this. Chocolate's so good, it makes your fucking grandpa walk. You know what I'm saying? That's like, what I'm saying. Yo, don't even get me started on that old piece No, yeah, of shit. That, that fucking old bastard. I think it was depression, though. That's what I think it was. You know what I think? I think he's a fucking lazy fuck. I love... The dude bro, was dancing. The original one, there's a scene. I forgot exactly which one it is. One of the kids are doing something. He's like, no, stop, please. Oh, no. Like, Oh, yeah. It's just fucking... Like, Gene Wilder is just so fucking good in that. And yeah. to, to, like... He died, I think, in like 2017, 2018. And he lived up in Connecticut. There was a drive-in theater that would play it every year, and he would go and do like a Q&A afterward just for fucking shitsy gigs. Damn, that's fucking cool. Yeah. Gene Wilder, man. Young Frankenstein. Young Frankenstein. That's a great movie. Uh, you know, obviously, Willy Wonka. There was a ton- The guy was just fucking... It's Gene. He's just Gene. Just good old Gene. It's Gene. Good old Gene. Gene. Wasn't he in the producers, the original producers as well? Of what? The producers. Oh, oh. <laughs> I don't. Oh, I think so. Was it? I don't know. I don't mean either. But it's all right. It felt like if I agreed with you, it would go away. Speaking of Dune, yeah. Did you see the popcorn bucket? The popcorn bucket. Here we go. What are you doing? (laughs) Sorry, I had to sneeze. So inappropriate (laughs) and like incorrect way to sneeze. It wasn't incorrect. You did? Okay, well. I felt that one in my chest, honestly. I guess I'll just. Because you sneezed with your whole body like a psycho. <laughs> Fucking. Do piece you see of the shit. Dune popcorn bucket? Dune popcorn bucket? This thing is gonna suck your cock better than anything you've ever had. A pop. Look it up. Dune popcorn bucket. They So you know how, like. For like oh I, for Batman, it was like Batman's Batman. Head. Yes, it was the cowl. Yeah, and then yeah. like for like the Super Mario Brothers movie, it was a question block. They made one for Dune, and it's of the sandworms. Okay. For Dune 2? Yes. <laughs> this is a flashlight. This is a flashlight. Dude. What the fuck? A little bit of butter? <laughs> you're going to tell me? Look at this. You're going to tell me you're not fucking going to town on that thing? Bro, I can tell you this. 100% of the men who bought this went home and railed Fucked it. it. Fucked. Railed <laughs> The shit out of it. They're bringing this back home, and they're full on porno railing these. How did? Buckets. How does this get like approved? Like, there's, is no one thinking? I legitimately ask that all the time when there's like stupid marketing campaigns, and I'm just like, either the people that are doing this have no sense of what is real or what what happened. There's a picture here where Jimmy Fallon had it, and Timmy's throwing his fucking fist in it. Oh, yeah. I think it's Kimmel. I think they were on Kimmel. Yeah, and he was fisting it he on TV? A, he put his whole hand in that bad boy. Some I, Listen, man. Timmy. Do we need to get one? For, Can for, we? For science, I think. Go see Dune 2. Go to, like, a movie and get it. But, but you know only... these things are going to be collectibles. Of course. I mean, they're probably... You can't find them anywhere. Just put this thing on, like, a fucking... <laughs> a little bit of butter? <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Just a little freaky bit. bitch! I, I'm, just, I'm, just, I'm only saying what I believe other people have already said and probably done. Yeah, they, they're, they're banging it for 100%. They're 100% bringing this thing home. Or even fuck home. They're, they're Pee Wee Hermaning this bad boy. Oh my God, illegal stuff. They're bringing this right to... Bro. No? Speaking of Pee Wee Herman. He's dead. Uh, I know he's super oh, dead. Rip. Rip. Um... The fact that, like, there's whole movie theaters dedicated to porn is, like, insane to me. Serious, here's my serious, serious, serious question. Why would you want to watch it like that? But not only why would you want to watch it like that. Well, because it, like it was like a thing of, like, the 70s and 80s before you can get it readily available at home. What the fuck did you think was going to happen? 
Yeah, you don't think people are jerking off in there? I think it's I think it's fucked up to have that and not let them jerk Bro, off. Bro, you're you are legitimately telling me you have a movie theater with comfy seats, dark, dark, porn, and people and porn on the TV, and people are not gonna jerk off in there. How could you do that? What is wrong with you? That's fucked up. There was a porn. There was a porn theater by us. Me and you. Yeah, growing up. Oh, on, on a fucking uh, a story Boulevard. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, I never, I never been there. I never went there either. It was close to the cozy cabin though, and that I, place I have been. Don't it, you can't go because it's been condemned. Yeah, and it was cozy at the time. Uh, if you were by cozy, you were all about just like women that cough and show their boobs. Yeah. Coughing. If you wanted coughing strippers, naked coughing strippers. <laughs> you got it. <laughs> you, cozy got, cabin. you gotta hit the cozy cabin, dude. Oh, There's dude, the, naked the, coughing. Oh strippers. man, the croup on her was just so fucking <laughs> <laughs> coughing strippers. That is hysterical. <laughs> naked coughing strippers, bro. Oh, uh, it's like oh, wait. It's so true though. Wait till you hear the fucking <laughs> the ventilation in there wait wasn't great. Hear. There's it's, a lot of black mold. I hear they just got a new one with a fucking, <laughs> with a swollen larynx. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. yeah. But what do you expect, dude? Yeah, of it's course. Fucked. It's crazy. But at the time, Pee Wee Herman got caught for this. He he probably had money to get some porn at home. Yeah, that's a little confusing. But I think there's some people that are probably into like, well, I'm being sneaky. No one knows I'm in here doing this. Gross. Thing. Yeah, very weird. I would also be like, I'm Pee Wee Herman. I'm worried about walking out of this place and someone be like, Hey, Pee Wee. And then yeah. it's like, wait, what the fuck, Pee Wee? I mean, there might have it might have been a dark time for Mr. Paul Rubens. I'm not quite sure what was going on in his life at the time, but I mean, he's he's hamming it up in a fucking movie theater. I mean, there's definitely stuff going on. Also, like, do you have to like get ready for that. You know what I mean? Like, you can't just show up ready to jerk. <laughs> you need to wear like certain clothes, a, a a duster coat. Yeah, you're jerking off into a jacket at least, right? Well, I mean, you have to. You, you need can't to jerk, go you there need in jerk shorts. Off, you need a jerk off jacket. It's also like a premeditated horniness. Like you're like, I'm gonna be horny yes, at two PM yes, tomorrow, yes. matinee. That's why you know it's, what I mean? It's it's the mens rea, it's the you know, the criminal mind here. That's what's the worst part of it. Uh, is that you need to premeditation premeditate. Premeditate your cum shot. Right. <laughs> It's just wild. Yeah, it's kinda of bananas, dude, that that exists, and I'm sure it exists in other states. Like there's more of them. I I think for the show, we need to start getting like collector's items in here to like be more like when people come, we can be like, that's the fucking jerk off bucket. Oh, this is the fist that, you know, Joey got, you know, that, that remember the fist that popped out of the drawer? I do remember that. You know, like we need to have more collector's items. Yeah. And I think we need the Dune popcorn bucket. Just so you can hump it. You I don't want to hump it. Just so you can hump it. I don't want to hump it. I don't. I would like a lot of popcorn though. <laughs> Actually, yeah. Keep the pussy. Give me the popcorn. <laughs> I just want some popcorn. Keep the dude. sandworm butthole. Give me some fucking good old. What's your favorite popcorn? White cheddar. Really? Smart Foods white cheddar. Insane God, popcorn. I want to punch you as fucking hard as I can. That's mad good popcorn. Smart, smart, smart food. Smart food. That's the company that smart makes it. Smart food. It's not like a healthy version. It's just that's what the company's it's called. It's called smart food for a reason. They're trying to be smart about their food. It's white cheddar popcorn. It's not good. I'm talking like Pop Secret. Or are you like an Orville Redenbacher? Or are uh, you a Newman's? I've had Orville Redenbacher like maybe twice in my life. By the way, fuck your name, dude. Yeah. The like, worst. You sound like a circus. You that Legitimately, yes. Yeah. I don't want that. I want... You ready? Yeah. Pop Secret? Yep. Home style. What does that mean? It's just more salt. Okay. And there's a little bit of butter. Uh huh. And then I make my own brown butter at home. What's brown butter? <laughs> You've never had brown butter? Is that just like burnt butter? Yes. Okay. And you put it on the popcorn. Mm hmm. Legitimate. Yeah. Hand job in a bowl. Oh, I like that. You know? I think that if you don't put butter on your popcorn, you don't deserve the popcorn. I don't do movie theater butter, because that's not butter. That's oil. I don't know what that is. That, um, it's not I, I butter. I don't. I don't go for extra butter at. But that. like the people that like go and like press the button and like that shit comes down. I don't do that. I just get regular popcorn. Yeah, yeah, me too. You know what popcorn was mad good? Do you remember like the Frito Lay popcorn bags when we were growing up? 
it was mad yellow. The yellow, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That shit was fucking... It was like yellow and orange, I oh, think. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that shit was good. Who makes that? I think it was Frito-Lay. Okay. Uh, you know what's funny? I just had this conversation with Danny and his brother, I, like, when I went out for Danny's birthday. We were talking about popcorn. I don't know how it came up. That's kind of crazy. Pop- I'm not a kettle corn guy. Keep that shit. I hate kettle corn. Keep that shit. Also, Cracker Jack. I like them. I like caramel. I, I don't. I, I do like too, but like, no. I just don't understand why they're like an American treasure. Cracker Jacks. I don't know. Don't it's do that. Fucking, they're trash is what they are. I don't I don't Careful. fuck with them. I wouldn't go with trash. They're trash. Uh, I, 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 wouldn't, I wouldn't go that far. This is also where the conversation went too, because then we started talking about uh, caramel apples, and I'm like, this is stupid. You ever had one? No. Well, there you go. <laughs> but, like, why would I eat an apple on a stick? That's ridiculous. It, but it's just with, like, a little bit of caramel on the outside. Also, candy apples. But it's, like, hard. Love them. You have teeth. I don't want to bite a fucking apple in a hard casing of sugar. Well, no, 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 no. Listen, you dumb bitch. The fucking caramel is soft. Like, it's not like you're going to bite no. it and crack your teeth. Yeah, I'm not saying the, I'm the candied ones, the red ones. You need a, You need a little oomph, but you have working teeth and a fucking jaw that doesn't suck. <laughs> you can do it. So then, maybe I'm thinking of candied apples. That if you if one I'm, second, listen to what I just said. I just said candied I'm, apples. I know. I'm fucking acknowledging that. You fucking relax. <sighs> <laughs> I used to get candied apples all the time. They're mad. Good. Where? Where do you even get that? I used to get them at Lake Compounds when we would go. Oh, okay. So you can only get that in like a Halloween town. No, or no, no. <laughs> there's there's a candy store by us that that has them. I think that if you're, I'll e- bring you a candy apple. I don't want to. I'm not gonna eat. You're it. You're fucking getting one. I'm not gonna eat it. I'll throw it. No, if I cut you off a little piece. All right, if you cut it off a little piece, all I'll right. have some. All right, all right. But I'm not like I think that if you're gonna buy them, like I'm not like I'm. This is a serious thought, and I know it's gonna come off as a joke, but this is something I actually feel. When I think of buying like a candied apple, I always think that a woman dressed as a witch is handing it over to me. Yeah, like, like it doesn't like feel she like cauldron bubble double and treble. Yeah, she's got like a prosthetic nose, and she's got the whole thing on. Well, no, the, the witch is it's a real nose. Yeah, I'm. Oh, you're playing like it's an imaginary thing. No, this is what do you what? Big candy episode here, Wonka. Yeah, I candied don't, yeah, candied I don't apples. I love Wonka though. I just I think that everything. Imagine going to a store where the entire thing is fucking candy. You Dude, I will, I, will say, I will say that when they when they're in that shop and in, in in the first movie and she like bites the little teacup. I'm like, yeah. I love that. Yeah, and they they bit a teacup in that movie. I don't know if you saw the, that. at the end, at the very end. Is yeah, it, and I was like, yo, fuck yes. Yes, I would. I would like an edible teacup. Edible things that aren't supposed to be edible are cool to me. When we were kids, there was um, <laughs> remember how like the Scholastic book fairs and like the yeah. holiday shops that they would ha- set up at our elementary yeah, school. Yeah, and I'm buying mad I, erasers. I remember Joey used to buy a ton of those like. The, the pencil, like, what were they called? Pencil grips? Yeah, like, uh, it was like a little monster was, on the top of your pencil. Well, no, that was the pencil toppers. I'm talking about the grips that you'd put, like, about where you... <gasps> oh, and then it... Yo, I did like that. Did. Wow, you could put, like, a little foam thing on your pencil so it, like, makes your finger feel oh, nice. Oh, the Asian kids had them. Yeah, they, did, they like, did. And they had, like, ones that would, like, help them write better. Yeah. And, also, and they, it helped. <laughs> and they were all selling. They were all excelling. better. They were all better than us. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And by the way, this isn't... Inappropriate. What? Like they, they were just better than we were. Yeah, I'm not. Uh, okay, I just want to make sure I say that. No, no, no. The Asian kids, they had comfortable <laughs> pencils and they who did really it? well. Who, who was it that had a bit where they were just like, "Is that racist? We're saying that they're better than us." <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, I don't want to take their bit. It's their bit, not mine. Um, but at one of those holiday shops, I they had sold edible paper, and it was like a pen, and it was like a spy thing, so you could like pass notes. And it, <laughs> and, it, and it was like food, food safe, like marker. So like you can like write it and give it to someone and they can eat it. And it tasted like the fucking Eucharist. <laughs> I remember it was very clear. What have you had Eucharist? I've had Eucharist. Have you? I used to lie about being Catholic. I, okay. So you came to church with me? No. There, there's other times I could have gone to church, not with you, Joey. But I'm asking, have you ever been to church with me? I don't know if I've been to church with you, maybe for like wakes and funerals and stuff like that. But like when we were younger, my sister used to take me and her, and we would go Sunday nights for a, for a blip. Yeah. And I would always just say like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm just <laughs> when I was hungry, man. Yeah, the Eucharist tasted like nothing. Not, literally nothing. I've had a good one, though. I was at a church one time in the Long Island, and I think it was like a christening or something, and I got some host. It may not have been a christening. I don't know. 
Uh, and I got some uh, some of the Eucharist, and I was like, "That's a good Eucharist." Really? I mean, Jesus, is it gonna kill you to just like put a little like you know yeah, rosemary and oil in there? Maybe seasoning on it or something. Yeah, you know what little, I mean? A little, a little garlic in your body. A garlic. I That's like a, that. We're not. We're very well. First of all, we, not me. Yeah. It's a very easy thing, you know. Like a little spread. You know what I'm saying? Put a little fucking. I'm like, just saying, uh, if I was giving my body. And say, like, the body of Christ or the body of Frank. I'd want it to be kind of delicious. Garlic and herb or something. Yes. It, like oh a little bit of a spread. You know, like, you know how you do the Ash Wednesday with the thumb? Do that to the thing. Just, put, put just a little bit on the crack. A little, again, nothing, cra- nothing crazy. Like, we don't need anything nuts. You know, sour cream and onion. Right. Cool with that. Cheddar and sour cream. Some dust. Yes. that's a, That I like. Listen, Jesus. Who's making the decision? Who's, on that too? Who is? You should be upset at the person that made your there's fucking ga- body bland ass crackers. There's gotta be. And also, isn't he like Middle Eastern dude? Let's get some like yeah. Let's get some spices. Tahini. In this thing. Yeah. You, you know, know what there's I mean? some. There's definitely some fucking. This is not meant to be plain bread. Yeah. This, is, this has gotta have some spices. Listen, a little smoked paprika and tahini goes a long way. Thank you, paprika. All now we're talking about. That's stuff. all I'm saying. Like, you just need something in there. Like, yeah. if if I if the body if I'm ingesting the body of Christ, right. I want it to be memorable from a. Taste. I want to. I want it to be so good that I'm dying to come back next week yes. to get a little bit of more of Christ. Listen up, church. Your marketing is all fucking wrong so, here. Or just have some dips. Like maybe some people like a plain thing, but like have a little dip next to when you give me the thing, the body of Christ. I'm like, amen. Ping, ping, ooh, pow, ooh, ping. Ooh. Yeah, you know like, what I mean. Like, oh, oh, oh. Like, what if the blood of Christ is not just wine, but it's like a jus, you know, like a French dip style jus. Oh, and then, you can and then it's just like fucking bang and hit him. Yeah, you could do that. That would be sick, dude. Yeah, and I don't. Is it white wine? I don't remember. No, the body, the blood of Christ is red wine. Yeah, but I don't, I don't know. I think they were giving us white back then. I oh, know. then that's that's the, yeah. they were just trying to get you drunk and so fucking. I'm just trying to get a <laughs> finger your ass, dude. <laughs> They were just trying to figure your butt, man. Also, we kind of wonder what kind of wine they were drinking. Like, it was like good uh, wine. Oh, it's just, here comes wine, Joe. <laughs> he's like, he goes back to church. He's like, yeah, that's a Monchon Rene. Who? <laughs> Who makes the wine? Is it holy people? Like, are priests out there? The holy vineyard? The are there any vineyard tours that go there? Is it like Napa Valley, but like, there's like a holy section of it? Yeah. Like, for Christmas, you get us a nice little, like, you know, like a Camus or something. Yeah, you know, like, like a nice one. The blood of Christ. You're just like, that's Chianti, bitch. Yeah, right. Like I want to like know. I yeah, like, mm. I want to. I want to taste. You know, I want to see the legs on this bastard too. Also, kind of crazy that we're all drinking from the same cup. Germs. germs. I mean, I think COVID. COVID got rid of that. COVID yeah, was but, just like. And also, the guy wasn't really doing anything. He, people would drink from it, and then he would take a thing and just go. Hmm. And I'm like, yo, you're just spreading you're just around. spreading it. Yeah, you have anything. You're making it more seasoned. Maybe that's what it was. No, it wasn't. You're tasting the seasoning. It's like a cast iron skillet, you know? Like you're tasting the food from like 10 fucking cooks ago. Oh, so you want to like get So like you're you're getting yeah, the holy you're, every, oh, the lady's you're getting lipstick. the holy lips of like a fucking 90-year-old woman and then like a, you know, a 20-year-old kid. Yeah, that's just bananas. That's kind of wild. Also, I was able to that was the first time I've ever sipped wine was in 3rd grade at my communion. Damn. And I was like, yo, this is about to be fire. You know like, I'm about to be hammered. You know and then I took, story? A, I took a sip and I was like, this is disgusting. You know what story I was telling the other day? Becca was like, we were just kind of. Hold on, hold on. Yep, yep, yep. <laughs> we have sponsors that we have to get yep. to. Otherwise, we won't get to them. Yep, yep. Uh, we do have a, our, our episode is sponsored by Squarespace. Okay, Squarespace, if you don't know, you can build your website on this platform. It is an all-in-one website uh, platform for entrepreneurs to stand out and succeed online. Um, they, you can sell uh, e-commerce on there. Uh, you can do like these email things, whatever. You see where all the traffic is coming from. They're going to help you and help your business, okay? And they have beautiful templates to make your website look professionally done. Uh, and you can do that and build it out in literally an afternoon. I've done it multiple times, okay? Uh, but Squarespace is the only thing that I use to build websites. So if you're interested in building a website for yourself, you're starting a business or whatever the case may be, you want to promote things that you've done before before, um, use Squarespace. It is the one to use. Like I said, it's an all in one, um, you know, you can engage with your audience and you can, uh, you know, sell your products or whatever all on this one platform. So it's amazing, um, for everything that you need when it comes to starting a business or starting a website, like I said, uh, but you can head to Squarespace for a free trial. And when you're ready to launch, go to 
squarespace.com slash basement to save 10% off of your first purchase of a website or a domain. Uh, okay, so uh, squarespace.com for that free trial. And then uh, when you're ready to launch, go to squarespace.com slash basement. Get that 10% off of your first purchase of a website or a domain, okay? So if you're starting websites, also send it over to me. I like seeing people's websites and what people are into and different styles and stuff. But like I said, with the templates, they make it so easy. You don't need to pay someone a bunch of money to like code and like make this whole thing. You can just do it with the templates and they're beautiful. There's a lot to choose from. Go check them out, uh, squarespace.com slash basement. Uh, and we also have uh, Liquid IV here, okay? Liquid IV, it's gonna keep you hydrated. I literally just had a bunch of them uh, while our past show. Woke up, we went to dinner the night before the show and I had a little bit of wine. And then I woke up and I was like, definitely gonna rip a liquid IV here. Uh, it's it's gonna help you stay hydrated. Um, but yeah, it's amazing. Uh, it's great. So go to uh, liquidiv.com uh, or you can go to uh, actually like Costco and you can buy it at nationwide at Costco uh, as well. But they have a bunch of different flavors. They have like lemon lime, they got watermelon, they got Ooh, strawberries. That white peach and Ooh. the white grape. Ooh. Yeah. The white peach. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like that. Uh, they have a lot of flavors to choose from, and they taste amazing. Um, but it just comes in little packets. You open it up, you rip it, you put it in a, a glass of water, you stir it up, and you got a nice little treat there for you, okay? And you're getting all your nutrients. That you're not the nutrients. You need, you're getting three times the amount of electrolytes of a leading sports drink. Um, you're getting eight vitamins and nutrients. Um, so, yeah, it's great. So go to liquidiv.com. Uh, and use the code BASEMENT at checkout. Uh, that'll get you 20% off your first order when you stop, uh, when you shop Superior Hydration today by using the promo BASEMENT, okay? So go to liquidiv.com, use that code BASEMENT. 20% off, folks. Th those are huge savings right there uh, with Liquid IV, all right? Enjoy. And, you know, I got I to gotta piggyback off of Joey right here. I'm going to get right off of his back and right back onto this horse to tell you guys about patreon.com slash the basement yard. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I don't think you realize what you have helped us do. We, as of today, as of recording, okay, are number seventh in the world on uh, Patreon. Yeah. Period. That's everything on Patreon. Number seven, baby. No, that's, Lucky. That's 10. We're seven ten, for podcast. 10, 10, seven for podcast. I'm sorry. Joey's going to go outside and he's going to give me a couple spankings. So whether you like that or not, I still need to tell you about patreon.com slash the basement yard where you can get more of us. You can get more of us sooner. Okay. You can get these weekly episodes one week in advance if you sign up for that first tier. And then that second tier, well, you get exclusive episodes every single Friday where there's a little more of us, a little, little hotter, a little dirtier, a little sweatier, sexier. You never know what's going to happen on Fridays at 7 a.m. So that's right. That's right, folks. Monday, 7 a.m., weekly episode, a week in advance if you're a patron, and then Friday, 7 a.m., exclusive episodes on Patreon. And now listen, if you have trouble going to patreon.com slash the basement yard, go to that new goddamn website we got, baby, thebasementyard.com, where not only do we have links to the Patreon, not only do we have links to our incredible merchandise, but we also have a little thing at the bottom where you could sign up to get a newsletter, an email from Daddy Joe. That's right. Big butts. Attack sluts9 at hotmail.com. That's his real email. <laughs> You'll get that email from him. And then we're going to tell you about future shows. Everyone was so incredible at the shows we did. As of recording, we wrapped up all three of those original shows. And we're getting ready to do some more. So you want to hear about them? Go to thebasementyard.com. Sign up for that newsletter. You'll get some more information as it comes out. And, uh, yeah. Well, maybe we'll surprise you in there. You never know. So check it out. Thank you to our patrons. Thank you to all you guys for supporting and loving us. And for those that you don't, well, guess what? You're going to get bed bugs. So you're, you're, you're cool. <laughs> That's, <laughs> you're going to um, get bed bugs. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, uh, but th the story that uh, Becca and I the other day were talking about, like, like the, uh, the households that we grew up and how, like, different they were. And Becca was like, I, she's like, as a kid, I had anxiety when I knew people around me were having alcohol. I'm like, really? She's like, yeah, like it would really, really bother me. And I was like, not us. Man. And I remembered when we would be like in like second or third grade and we would do pizza parties. Do you remember we would sit there with like a cup of soda and a pretzel rod and pretend we were smoking cigars and the soda was beer and we'd be like, oh, it's so junk. I don't think I've ever eaten a pretzel rod and not pretended it was a cigar. It's got to be. Like, to this day, if you give me a pretzel rod, it's I'm a... sucking the pretzel dust through the end of the fucking pretzel. Well, that's because Joey has a weird thing about sucking things through things that don't need to be sucked through. No, I like, I like with foods, like doing that. You're a freak with sucking. 
No. <laughs> you are. He's like, oh, honeycombs. I suck the milk through it. I'm not the only fucking person in the world who does that. It's like a, it's like a oral fixation There's thing. Like, maybe. What's the, the, what's the like phobia of like little small dots or something like oh, that? Oh, it's a, it's a. Um, I don't know. Joey has, doesn't have a phobia. It's like a sexy thing for you. It's like a no, kink. I, I don't you like see that. it and you want to suck things through it. Don't even lie. No. Don't even lie. No, no, no. When it comes to like a bunch of little things, I definitely want to like put my hand in it. Oh, yeah, like a bowl of M&Ms. Yeah, absolutely. I'm or with- like you ever see, you ever get a cough? Well, you don't drink coffee, but like you ever see someone get a coffee and it's like, it's like a bunch of bubbles on top. If it wasn't scalding hot, a part of me is just like, Meh. Yeah? Yeah, I don't know just what do it, it is. Anyways, oh, you know part. what I do sometimes? When I met, like, for instance, like, if I have a liquid IV or whatever, like, I'll throw it in and I'll start mixing it up, and then there's, like, bubbles and stuff, and I'll take the spoon and I'll scoop out the bubbles and throw it in the sink. What the hell is wrong with you? I don't know. This is weird. You have a weird thing about, You don't like, do that? No. You don't have, like, little things like that, though, that are, like, oh, probably stupid? I do. I have a lot of things that are really stupid, but I'm not going to- I scoop out the bubbles and I throw them I wait them until down. they come up naturally, because then they're funny to talk about. If I give them to you all at once, I'm shooting my wad prematurely all over you, and I don't want to do that. Okay, me neither. I don't want that. <laughs> I definitely don't want that, ew. Uh, Joey, I don't know if you saw, but uh, our boy is back in the news. Good old Benny Shaps. We talked about Timmy Shaps. Benny Shaps. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Benny Shaps. Ben Shapiro. He's a rapper now. He is now a rapper. Yeah. Uh, people were tagging us in it, and we saw it. We listened to it. He has a song. Now, listen. We're not going to get into the political messaging of the song because... I also didn't listen to the song. Oh, I just like... There's some stuff in there that's not really kind. <laughs> to whom? Um, a lot of people. I mean, you could just read. you could just read it yourself. But, again... We're not we're not going to get into it because we're not. I think you guys know who we are, where we stand on certain things. But when we hear Ben Shapiro releases a rap song, you know we need to break that down. Ben Shapiro rap song lyrics, and I think the, one of the last times you spoke about him who was the fuck just, is Tom McDonald. That's the other guy that made the song. But like the one of the last times you Tom spoke McDonald? about Tom McDonald, <laughs> yeah, right. My rap name Tom McDonald. Oh McDonald. Last time, one of the last times you spoke about him was when he, or the original time we spoke about him is when he, yeah. First of all, what the fuck is happening here? He said, so can we just, can I? Are you doing the, the Shapiro verse or are we doing? Yeah, but this also says Shapiro and Tom McDonald. So I don't know when he comes in. Well, Shapiro's on it. So, but again, Ben Shapiro rapping. Yeah. Happened, spoken, we, like, first time we spoke to him was with the WAP controversy. And that's in uh, here. This, this wet ass pussy. Uh, you, there might be something wrong if your pussy is that wet. Yeah, my, <laughs> like, my wife. Chill, my wife told me she's a doctor. Her pussy's never been wet. Yeah, it's like, like we, knew we that. know. We knew that, brother. Uh, he says in this rap song, the first thing is, "Let's look at the stats. I've got the facts. My money like Lizzo. My pockets are fat." <laughs> Listen, just like picture him saying that though. Well, look at the stats. I've got the facts. My money like Lizzo. My pockets, pockets are, are fat. fat. Yeah. I and gotta, he was probably like, oh, fucking bars. But this 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 flow reminds me so much of like when The Rock hopped on. Who, what was that song he hopped on? Where he's like, it's about drive. It's about power. It's oh, about yeah. hunger. It's about power. <laughs> it was, and uh, it's just like, it's so like motivational rap. It's it was like, a Tech 9 song. Yeah, okay. Respect to Mr. 9 <laughs> and The Rock because I love The Rock. Yeah. But like. Yeah, I don't know about all that. That shit was like a Fort Minor song. Remember that's that? what I'm saying. Ten percent look, twenty percent. He's like, it's a, it's about motivation. It's about it's, it's about like, motivation and getting after it and being the best and working hard. And it's waking like, up early, then earlier. It's yeah, like, and chill then, out, and then he's just like Iron Lion, and it's just like, dude, yeah. just chill out. But okay, what Lizzo just catching a stray here? Yeah, it's crazy. My money like Lizzo, my pockets are <laughs> kind of. I have to admit, it's funny. Kind of a bar. Then he says, "Homie, I'm epic. Don't be a wap. Don't be a wet ass pussy." Or like, or is he saying like WAP? Yikes! Is that I don't think I think that's W O P. Oh, I think oh that is what, it, what does it spell as W A P? Yep. Wap wap wap. Okay, because I was like, is he going after Italians right Damn, now? Damn, he's going out right now. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Everyone's catching a stray. Yeah, this right. This is like, the most hood shit he's ever done. He's <laughs> just dissing every possible person he can. He said, "Homie, I'm epic. Don't be a WAP. Oh, don't be a WAP. Dog, it's a yamaka. Homie, no cap." Wait, what? That's what he said. Dog, it's a yarmulke. Homie, no cap. Yeah. I heard the song. Didn't hear it to the point where I would remember that he's... That's kind of fire, dude. Because he wears his yarmulke all the time. 
Yeah. You know, sometimes his hair's so black that sometimes I don't think he's wearing it. Bro, I swear to God, I can't tell it all the time. And I see I, it sometimes and I'm like, oh, I forget that he's wearing uh, that thing. Well, it's hard for you to tell being five foot four. That's enough. Look at the graphs. Look at my charts. You're blowing money on strippers and cars. You're, well, he just, I mean, yeah. You're going to prison. I'm on television. <laughs> Dog, no one knows who you are. Who is this about? Who's, yeah, who's this diss track to? It sounds like, so Lizzo is getting the first diss. Yeah, she got shot at. And then don't be a wop. So that's yeah, a diss think, to. Yeah, my, my grandfather, I think. Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> <laughs> that's a diss to Cardi B and yeah. uh, Megan yeah. the Stallion. Meg the Stallion, yeah. He's just, he's going after. Dog, it's a yarmulke, homie, no cap. That's fire. I got to admit, I can't even front. Listen, Benny Shaps, this guy is kind of spitting here. <laughs> uh, keep hating on me on the internet. My comics, comic, my comment sections, all woke Karens. And I make racks, I make racks off a of compound interest. Now we're All not, right, now hold on. Now, now we're on. not Back rhyming First of all, anymore. don't flaunt that you have woke Karens just like, pumped for you i make racks off a of compound interest is the nerdiest thing That's you could the, possibly say in i mean what did he say before like Al, you're doing strippers and, and you're blowing money, money on, strippers on cars, and cars strippers you're blowing money on strippers and cars you're going to prison i'm on television is he is he i don't think he's yeah, on television wait a sec is he on television uh, uh, like newsmax maybe or like the holy channel the, no, they, what's they the Holy Channel? There's like, there's like Holy Channels. Oh, I don't know. Wait, 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 wait. Is he on television? I think that he has his own like network or whatever, but I don't know that it's television. What's it called? What's Ben Shapiro's network called again? Uh, fuck. I don't know. Something. Ben Shapiro Network. Ben Shapiro Network. It's like the, the, not The Wire. <laughs> That's a great show though. You guys should go watch The Wire. What's, yeah, that is a really network. It's something like that. The Daily... Daily Wire. Daily Wire. Dude, dude, look at me. I guess, man. I don't see anything. I see YouTube. Yeah. I see... I mean, I, I, guy's an entrepreneur. You gotta oh, kinda... she's, Who is this about? Uh-oh. Who's catching oh, it? Oh, oh, bro. Nicki Minaj. He went after her. He went directly after Nicki? <laughs> he said, uh, keep on hating me on the internet. My comic se my comment section is all well Karens, and I make racks off of compound interest. Y'all live with your parents. Well, because they probably bought a house for their parents and then they can live with them, but wait, never mind. Nikki, take some notes. I just did this for fun. All my people who download this, let's get a billboard number one. <laughs> <laughs> what after Dude. fucking... Yo, Nicki Minaj better come out with some crazy Well, she's shit. got some stuff going on right now. Her, yeah, she was like... She's like she's beefing with, with Meg Stallion. Really? Yeah, they were getting at each other. What were they doing? Uh, I don't know, but apparently Nicki Minaj's husband is like a... He was like... It was a, like a... Careful. He got arrested yeah, for careful. some stuff. For some things, yeah. For some things that like are not cool. Yeah. Um. So then Meg Thee Stallion was like bringing that up. Yeah. Well. Okay. Which is like fair, I guess. I it, here. I'm gonna ask a serious question right here. Yeah. And I need you to be a thousand percent. Okay. Let's put on our rap hats for a sec. Okay. Okay. One, two. Is it worse if she does or doesn't respond to him? You gotta throw him a line. You gotta throw. What What do you say? I don't know. It's Ben Shapiro. You can say literally anything. There's so much to make fun of. I mean, you could talk about his wife's dry up vagina. Could. You could talk about. He already took care of that. Yeah. He, that, did, he, got, he, he fucking didn't even realize how bad he like set himself up. Da -da -da, that one. I got the facts. This yeah. Is the, this is the chorus of the song. This ain't rap. It literally is. Yeah, I think actually it, it is. Literally is. Yeah. This ain't rap. This ain't money, cars, and clothes. We ain't selling drugs. We ain't going to overdose. <laughs> Yikes, but okay. Uh, we ain't pushing guns and promoting stripper poles. We won't turn your sons into thugs or your daughters into hoes. Uh-oh, this is a little problematic, but okay. We won't turn your sons into thugs or your daughters into hoes. Something about this is hilarious to me, though. Yeah, because they're white people. But also, I just like... The dude, the dude Tom McDonald is like just like a tatted up white dude. Tom McDonald, it doesn't get more white than that. Yeah, like, look at him. He's a very tatted up white dude. Yep. Weird looking fella. He's only 35. Dude, don't sh Wait, he's Canadian? <laughs> that makes this even funnier. Whoa, wait a sec. <laughs> is he Canadian? Bro, apparently Canada is like down for Trump, dude. They are. 
Um, we were talking to our videographer, Mikey. Yeah, he's a Canadian. He's from British Columbia. That, see, Why no. is he? What is this? Is that a country? This is not. I'm not allowing this to happen. I, absolutely not. If you're going to be a piece of shit, I don't know if this guy's a piece of shit. His rap, <laughs> his rap doesn't make him, doesn't do him any justice. Be an American piece of shit. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, you know, have some skin in the game here, but you're Canadian. I think too highly of Canadians now after working so closely with Mikey. And like, <laughs> yeah, he's the best. I, I can't, I can't allow this to go on. It's pretty funny though. I mean, but yeah, all of his songs are about like, these are the names: fake woke, the system, your America, American flags, race war. Like these are all names. And it's like, bro, you're from Canada though. What? Mike, when we, I was asking Mikey one day, I was like, is there like, how bad does it get up there? He's like, oh, there, there are people in Canada that fly Trump 2024 flags, and I'm like. They realize that does nothing. Yeah, like, that's like me that, putting up, like, I, I couldn't name a literal another world leader. I don't know why I even started that sentence. Yeah, that's like if I stood ground on, like, an Australian prime minister. Like, yeah, what is that? How, you know what I mean? Also, like, why do we have a president and they have a prime minister? I kind of want a prime minister. That sounds cool. I have to admit, that does sound way cooler than president. Yeah, and everyone else has, like, a prime minister, right? I don't know. Uh, probably not. But, like, immediately I think of, I think Brazil has a president. Brazil? I'm pretty sure they have a president. What do they got down there? Brazilian food. Butts. <laughs> they got butts. Okay. They got butts. They have carnival. Yes. Yeah, they, they got ca- carnival. Yes. Uh, they have birds. They have birds? Yeah, it's like a, a tropical rainforest down there. Oh, oh. They got butts. Coffee. Coffee. The biggest exporter of coffee in the world. Bigger than Colombia. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. That's how you trick everyone. That's a little fucking trivia question for you. Everyone says Columbia. Now I'm better off, Joey. Yeah. Fucking thank you. Yeah, it'll come in handy one so day, bitch. So is it worse if you respond to Ben Shapiro or if you don't respond? Do you let him just kind of do his thing? Like, he didn't go after, like, he didn't go after too hard. You know what I mean? Like, I mean, he went after Lizzo and Nikki, bro. You guys got to I mean, like, say something. Lizzo, she's, she's done, dude. Yo, Lizzo would beat the shit out of him. With <laughs> such, crazy, dude. With such ease, dude. Yeah, yeah. Which beat the ease. shit out of me, probably. Honestly. Oh, 100 percent. She got that flute, just pa. I, I don't need my head off. She, she just might just. She you might ever see her sh- play the flute? Yeah, she was tearing up. Fuck out of the flute. She was tearing it up with James Madison's flute. Remember that? People oh, were yeah. all pissed about that, and they were just like, "Don't you dare! That's an American f- flute." Amen. I don't get why people care about like it's a wind instrument, dude. <laughs> That's what I mean. Like, it's like, oh, yo, you see this? This is. George Washington's teeth, and you're like, why the? Why would I care about that? I don't like. Yeah. Am I like? I think it's interesting to see really old stuff, but we're keeping his teeth. Like, I think that's the only thing we have. No, we have a ton of shit. We have like the shit that he wore, and like. I think it's just crazy because it was in his mouth, you know. Yeah, and it was disgusting. <laughs> the, if you guys haven't watched uh, the the what's his name the Shane Gillis bit online uh, on Netflix, yeah. Uh, Go watch it. He fucking the stuff he does on George Washington is incredible. It's crazy. But hold on, let's get to these ads and then we'll finish. Let's get me the ads. We have Babbel, folks. Uh, Babbel is going to help you learn a new language. Okay, if you don't want to be just a, a, a boring singular language person like me, you want to be bilingual at least. Bilingual. I can't speak. I can barely speak English. There you go. Um, But yeah, you can learn a new language uh, with Babbel. Uh, It is like an awesome way to do it. And also there's studies coming out of Yale, Michigan State University, and others to prove that Babbel is better. Okay. Uh, One study found that using Babbel for 15 hours is equivalent to a full semester at college. Okay. So 15 hours, full semester at college, you guys can be learning a new language and getting the basics of a new language and stuff. And, uh, you know, I've been using it, okay? I went through, like, I was shredding Babbel uh, during the pandemic also, uh, but now I'm back on it and trying to, you know, make sure that my Spanish is up to date. Um, But Babbel is awesome. Uh, It's designed by real people for real conversations. It's not just, like, you know, vocabulary words or anything like they're trying to help you so you can talk and use actually use it in the world. Um, it has over 16 million subscriptions sold. Um, plus all of Babbel's 14 award-winning language courses are backed by their 20 day money back guarantee. Okay. And here's a special limited deal for our listeners. Uh, right now you can get 50% off a one-time, you can get 50% off a one-time payment for a lifetime Babbel subscription but only for our listeners at babbel.com slash basement. Okay, that is 50% off uh, at babbel.com slash basement, spelled B-A-B-B-E-L 
dot com slash basement rules and restrictions may apply okay so you can get 50 percent off of a lifetime payment one time payment 50 percent off for it forever all right so go to babble.com slash basement to check that out all right um and lastly here the show is sponsored by better help better help is online therapy okay if you want to talk to a therapist um and you haven't really done it before or anything like that uh better help is a great way to start doing that and you could start talking to a therapist in just under 48 hours they connect you very quickly they make it very easy to find the right fit for you so you can switch from therapist to therapist until you find the right one that you think is you know a good fit for you because that's definitely a part of it um but yeah and you can find a therapist that like specialize in the thing that you want to you know talk about uh whether there's some relationship you know advice that you need or anything like that or even if there's nothing like pressing no pressing matter like at the moment and you feel like you kind of have it all reeled in um it, it, you still benefit from having a therapist okay as someone who's been in therapy for years i think that it's uh you know i think that everyone should do it i mean i i feel good being able to just to talk to somebody every single week um about anything that i want to talk about and they have no bias and it's not like someone that i need to like hang out with or do whatever so it's nice to like be able to get stuff off of your plate um i think that it's very healthy so if you need a sign to start doing therapy i think this is it and right now you can save some money too and by the way this is also more affordable than in-person therapy so a lot of the time a lot of people don't do therapy because it's just simply too expensive but with better help it is uh more affordable and we're going to save you some money when you go to betterhelp.com basement yard to get 10 percent off of your first month okay that is better help h-e-l-p uh, betterhelp.com slash basement yards. Go there, get 10% off your first month and enjoy. Okay. Thank you folks. Anyway, uh, I, you, you thought we were going to jump over this, but we're not fucking jumping over this because before we started, Frank just starts reading some headlines and then he finds one. He's like, Oh, there's this place. It's called a, a diaper spa in New Hampshire. And I was like, and then he tried to go to the next thing. I was like, no, 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 no. What is that? What's the diaper spa? Yeah, 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 yeah. So I should probably pull it up before I completely butcher this. I'll butcher it. It's a place, because we talked about it briefly. It's a place in New Hampshire that you can go to, and the place is like, it's like a fucking so like, it's a child's called, room. So it's, it's, it's in New Hampshire. It's called a diaper spa, and they pride themselves on being a place where you can laugh, love, and play. All the time. The space is decorated to look like a baby's nursery, complete with small beds, toys, and folded diapers uh, from their website. Services include ABDL, which naturally stands for... Uh, attention back... I don't know. Close. Adult diapy slash... Di adult baby <laughs> slash diaper lover. Adult diapy? <laughs> <laughs> adult baby slash diaper lover. Nursery spa care therapeutic support and life coaching and a 24-hour stay called the diaper B&B. &B. All clients are required to wear adult diapers. Required? Yeah. Why required? The owner of the spa, Colleen Ann Murphy, is a licensed medical doctor, not for long, who is <laughs> starting the business with the best intentions. The, the intent is to shit your pants, dude. Yeah, I, like, I feel like... So here's the thing. If you have... A kink or a, or so not I don't I don't want to say that but if you have something in your head that's like you know sometimes I just want to take you know an early lunch go home and act like a baby and wear a diaper and suck on a pacifier do your thing do it I think you should do it go crazy but it helps people process whatever trauma it was Murphy said of ABDL and her spa to a website. A lot of times it's childhood trauma when they were in diapers or just getting out of diapers and they want to feel the safety that they had before that. But are they crap in the diapers though? What safety? I let me let me be very clear about something. I'm not I, I'm I, not hold, I just want to say. Believe it or not, we're not doctors. <laughs> I just want to say sympathetic towards trauma. If something happened yes, and there's trauma. Obviously. But the thing that I can't get past is how is me be shitting your pants helping you get over trauma? Oh no, I but like, oh, I feel like a baby again. That's not what I'm saying. I'm saying like why is it required? Yeah. Like you should be like if you want to like go and be like, "Oh, I just would like to, you know, cuz what I'd like to sleep in a crib for a night." Weird, but you know Fine. what? Okay. You know, some some white people like to hollow out a school bus and live in it. 
Okay, it's not that crazy. <laughs> you guys, to be not, like, you guys are nuts for that. By yeah, the way. I actually that does sound interesting to me. But like, oh, here you know comes school, like, school bus Joe, twenty twenty eight. So like, whatever. There's people do whatever you want to do. The fact though that it's required that you wear a diaper makes me believe that a lot of people have started shit. Absolutely pants. insane. Absolutely insane. Just because like. They're saying like it, it's a sense of like comfort. No, it ain't. It, it, it is Shitting by your pants. definition yeah. the opposite of comfy because kids cry. They don't like it. Well, for many reasons. One, a lot of bacteria. You'll get fucking rashes. Two, do you think I, first of all, don't want to shit my pants. As humans, we actively avoid doing that every single day. I, I, I would do it. Stop. I would do it just for like, for, cause I, cause I could say it, that I did it. Like I went to this place, I slept in a crib and I absolutely ripped one in my diaper. Dude, I, for, I don't think, I, I don't think you'd be able to. I think your body would I'd tense be up. Your I body would, would tense up. And does it have a blowout back door? What's that called? Oh, like those like flaps? No, no, no. What's the called? Like the back, the blowout? The blowout support. Yeah. yeah, yeah the yeah, blowout yeah. preventer or something it's like that. It's called a blowout? It's literally what it called. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. Does it have that? I hope. Yeah, I mean, what are you doing in your pants, dude? Taking a big crap? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I, like, I would save a big crap. I would crap. send you there. I would feed you like... Should we go? Should we go take a crap in New we Hampshire? We is a strong thing. We should not go. You are more than welcome. Let's go to New Hampshire. We'll stay in a crib. I don't want to revert back to when I was a fucking infant and I was crapping my pants. <laughs> would you piss in one? Uh, bro, I'll, I piss in my pants sometimes. <laughs> like... <laughs> I'll fucking, I don't care. I'll piss, like, I, you know, I will say. Didn't you pee, it, uh, on an episode of the Patreon, didn't you pee in a diaper? That's neither I, here nor I, there. I think you did. I, so listen, <laughs> I don't know <laughs> if I could physically crap in a we diaper. Were at your old place. I do remember that. And, and I think. I wore you, a diaper for a you day. You wore a diaper and I think you, what, you, 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 you diddled in it. I didn't shit in it. Pee pee. I pissed in it. Crazy. Dude. It was for the experience. I was trying to experience. What? Can I ser seriously? Yes. Because I hope you're not like these type of people where it's like you need to experience everything at least once. <laughs> Why in your like what unfulfillment? Yeah. Do you have that you need to fill it with piss, peeing your pants? Uh, I. It's not about that. It's. I think the reason why we did that. It, why did we do that? I think it was like we had talked to someone on OPL. About that, like that does the baby thing, and then it just became like funny of like, oh, you should wear a diaper for a day and let me know how it is. And it's not; it could be worse. <laughs> like I'm not gonna lie. Wearing Did you di you didn't shit it though? Oh, absolutely not. Yeah, well, that's the thing. It's like I don't know if I could actually piss, uh, actually shit in a diaper. Like my body might not let me, but I could definitely piss in one like immediately. Uh, yeah, no, pee. I, I could let it fly wherever, pee, whenever, pee, 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 you know, pee, pee. like Shakira, wherever, whenever we're meant to be together. Right. And by yeah. we, I mean piss and, and my a diaper. Pants, you yeah, know? exactly. Well, uh, do, how many pisses do you think a diaper can hold, though? I mean, well, I, I have kids in diapers, so if they fill up, a, like, do they ever like my piss? Just, no, bro. I'm, I'm saying like baby piss. No. <laughs> what are we saying here? Who's piss? Have you ever pulled a diaper off one of your kids and been like, you pissed in this 100 times? Bro, yes. That's there crazy. are some mornings where Maeve wakes up and it's like I'm holding like a like a wet paper towel in my hand. That's so not cool. It's so wet, it's dude. It's not chill at all. It's not chill. Baby, be more chill. Stop doing piss. Stop doing so much piss. Do a little bit of piss. But that's the thing is like I when I piss, I piss a lot. You, you take big pisses? At least a pint. That's not a lot, is but, it? But I'm saying at least, all right, uh, two pints. Wow. That's Three? a lot. No, no, no. I don't know. I don't know how much I piss. But what I'm saying is like, we should test this out. Who takes big, bigger pisses? Who takes bigger pisses? I got to pee. As I said the word piss, I got to pee. I can convince myself to piss. Yeah. Like that. Yeah, yeah. If I stand in front of a, a, a urinal, I'll just pee. Really? Yeah, there's been times where I like um, I just go to the bathroom for comfort because I just want to. I, I don't even have to have to piss. I just don't want to sit out there by myself. I can't see myself <laughs> understanding why people would go to this place. I mean, they, there's some trauma there, and they have like an uh, they okay. have like an attachment to I these things. I fully, fully, fully. I agree, though. 
crapping in a diaper, I don't know if is that's helping anything. I fully support people, you know, whatever they feel they need to do to, you know, solve their trauma. Without poop. Though. But, dude. But, but, but. If yeah. you find that the only thing that helps your trauma is crapping in your pants, <laughs> world of questions on my end. And it's not just exclusive to those who want to crap their own pants because there are people out there that were like, I am not going to be fulfilled unless you crap on me. I'd like to be crapped upon. Can't, can't bring that up right now. People have been crapped upon. I know, but there's a. it's in the news about crapping on people right now. Oh, yeah, Vince McMahon shit on a woman's don't, head. Don't, we can't, we should not talk about that, especially in a weekly episode. I'm just saying, that's a crazy thing. I'm it's not a, like on his side. What do you mean? I'm just saying, you know, this is crazy. I, I know, he fucking. Absolutely. Fucking. That was the first thing I saw. I was like, I think I'm good on reading all of this. Because, uh. Guy's a sick fuck. Yeah. Well, eh, don't get me started. But um, I just I, I I think for science, I think <laughs> you should go. You want me to go there? I think you should. I think you should spend a night. You know, make sure you load up on crap like foods. <laughs> you know, you cheeses. Anything your body ingests, you'll crap your pants. That's how eating works, Frank. <laughs> well, no, but like you're you're always texting us saying like my body just turned that into water quick. I said that one time like ten years ago, and Frankie hasn't let me live it down. It's unbelievable. I mean, it's what happened. No. So I'm thinking, have a gyro, bottle of wine. What the hell? Have a gyro and a bottle of wine, and then go spend a night in the cra- <laughs> in the crap spa. What is it called? The diaper, diaper spa. spa. <laughs> I like that it's required. Actually, no, I don't. I'm confused that it's required, but I think that's cool. That like you would walk in this. Who place. changes you? Oh, oh, maybe you change yourself. Way worse, dude. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know because at least if it's if you're giving it the a space to fall out, it's not like getting smushed around your butt. Now you have a butt, a smushed butt poop, a poop smushed butt, a a butt of poop. Stop. <laughs> Fucking stop. Fuck. <laughs> this kid. Every combination of the words he wants to fucking use. A butt no. smooch. <laughs> butt smooch. How do you say a butt smooch? Smoochin' butts. That's, I mean, it's crazy, man. It's in New Hampshire. That's way worse, dude. Shout out to New Hampshire, man. I don't know what's going on over there. I I've never even, like, been. I've been, th- I've been there once or twice. For whom? I had a friend that lived in New Hampshire briefly. We went to like party at his house one weekend uh, in college. I've been to Vermont, and that just feels like New Hampshire. Have you been anywhere with trees? Vermont. There you go. You've been in New Hampshire. Yeah, that's what I mean. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like I imagine all those states kind of look at it. And the stupidest shapes also like don't What's be the shaped worst like that. shaped state? I don't like shapes. I, no, I don't <laughs> like states that have like... I guess like Colorado is like just a square. Also, Oklahoma. What is that little thing? What the is little, that? the little. It's what so is that's that? so you know that's so petty of them. Who lives there? I don't like like fucking like Michigan being like here and here. Here we are. Oh, it's, yeah, it's got. I don't little, like that. But like, yeah, Oklahoma. Like, it, that's actually kind of cool. If you live in like the little skinny part of Oklahoma, you'd be like, yeah, it's, uh, I live right there in the, in the little fucking. Yeah, I don't like that. This thing. Oh, in the gun. In yeah, the, in the wiener of Oklahoma. Yeah. I don't like that. I don't know. It's weird. How the hell did they draw the lines for states? It's It makes no sense. And then how do they take those lines and put them on a map? What does that mean? Like, how do they know the lines they drew are actually what's on a map? Maps are crazy, dude. <laughs> <laughs> maps are fucking wild. I can't get into maps today. I'm not ready for maps. It is interesting, actually, to be like, I guess it's all... I don't know. Like, um, who made the first map? Like, that's crazy. How did you do that? To make I can't, the first map. I can't do maps. I'm not ready. How did you see the whole United States, dude? Like, I'm the not, first person who made a map? I don't have the physical ability today to do maps. I can't. I can't because the more I think about maps, I get freaked out. Bro, you want to hear something crazy about maps? Lewis and Clark, dude? Yeah, those guys are bananas. Get the fuck out of here. Uh, You know what's crazy? Treasure maps. Because treasure maps are like, it's literally just dashes and then like 
a picture of a, a like a interesting tree that you know you're on the and then people find the treasure like yeah. how does that happen i don't know dude i don't know i don't I, the maps are fucking insane to me i can get where it's just like go do south they're british the pirates in my head of course way. i mean go do south and if you see a red barn you've gone too far and then it's like okay i can kind of get that because you're using landmarks but like back with pirates they had guess what water bro it's kind of crazy. No, like nothing else. Also, how do you bury something and then find it? Yeah, no. Nah. See, I told you. Or I, someone else finds I can't it. Do, I can't do maps today. I don't have the capacity for maps today. He's done with maps. I can't. He can't do it too much for and, Frankie's and little And globes, brain. dude? Globes. Don't. Globes. Don't. Yeah, that's just. When they're like ribbed and shit. Ribbed when they're like ho- like the hills oh it's are got like it's got like horny on it. you know yeah. I don't I can't not yeah. right not today at least not today another episode but I can't yeah. today I just realized that you were talking about Ben Shapiro and you have your fucking nails painted yeah he's gonna be pissed when he sees he's that. gonna be like who the fuck is that he's gonna be really <laughs> angry I got a I got a young daughter that's what I got bitch what are you gonna say if Benny Shafts disses me <laughs> I'm calling Fifty Cent and Eminem and I'm saying. I'm, I'm, I don't give a fuck. I'll pay the whole fee out of pocket. Get me in the studio. Oh, you want to make a song? He's getting the hardest diss track I'll ever come up yo, with. Shout out to, yo. If the Shaps comes for me. <laughs> that would be so funny, dude. If Ben Shapiro was like, who are these two fucking cucks? Yeah. <laughs> Let me guess. Hard on libtards. Uh, <laughs> hard on libs. Fingers painted. That checks out. <laughs> checks out. All right. That'd be, that, that, that'd, be that'd be so sick um, He kind of looks like The dummy from Goosebumps He looks like A puppet Right Like a ventriloquist Yes Yes he does Okay yeah. At least we're Back to shaming him he For his that. physical he knows looks that. He knows All right. that Good 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 <laughs> Yeah anyway that is He's also very rich By the way he could, he's, he's very what rich. Very rich He's got a couple bucks Yeah a couple <laughs> A couple dollars Yeah because his his pockets are fat like Lizzo. Do you know what would be hilarious? <laughs> what? If we Yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> his pockets are Lizzo fat. You know what's crazy? I think that if we debated him, there's no way he could win because we'd be so, so stupid. Yeah, that yeah. he would not know how to answer. He wouldn't his his Yonka would catch on fire from like <laughs> from the capacity at which his brain would need to operate like to never, deal with our stupidity. I don't even think two people could be this stupid. Yeah. It would be you know, that's how we're gonna that's how you start up the engine right there. Yeah, okay? listen, listen, we weren't able to get on new heights. Right. We may reach out again. May figure we may re- out. We're going to reach out to them again. Yeah, may figure out a way to get Benny <laughs> Shaps. Benny Shaps. Anyway, that's all for this week's episode. Frank, where can they find you? You could find me in the booth, spitting a couple. Yeah, a couple rounds. A couple, couple bars. A couple, couple 16s, you yeah. know. Uh, F. Alvarez885 on Twitter, the Frank Alvarez, and all the forms of social media. Like I said, go check out thebasementyard.com where you get links to our Patreon or just go straight to patreon.com. Get links to our merch. Get links to sign up for our newsletter so you can find out about upcoming shows. It's all there. And then TikTok, everything. That's where The Basement Yard is. If there's a social media site, except for Zanga and like 4chan, I guess, Basement Yard's on it. So go check it out. <laughs> yeah. 4chan. <laughs> um, yeah, go follow me at Joe Santagato. And like Frank said, go follow the show uh, at The Basement Yard on TikTok and Instagram. And that is all. See you guys next time. Yeah, bye.